Hi everyone, today I have a vintage super fruit. Now, I've been loving, they've been giving us a lot of great music and I'm loving it, a lot of great music videos, but I'm kind of nostalgic for the old super fruit sit down. So I wanted to check something out um, that maybe I haven't seen. Um, well, I know I haven't seen it, but, <laughs> but uh, I do miss the old uh, sit down super fruit. So we're gonna check out uh, emoji tag. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. Listen up, y'all, because this, this is, is it. it. The, the beat, beat that I'm banging is delicious. <laughs> I censor myself. Welcome to Superfruit the Best on the internet. My name is Cauliflower. Oh, my name is Broccoli, and together yeah, we, we are smell something like an. <laughs> no, oh my god, broccoli smells like fart 100% of the time. Oh my god. Did you know if you eat too much broccoli, you can actually get mental problems? Oh my god. Did you know that? No. How weird is, is that? Is that real? Yes. I don't think I believe I that. I swear to god. Mm. I read it somewhere. Okay. So. So that must be true. So we were tagged by our good friend and slash boyfriend, Connor Franta, <laughs> to do the emoji tag. And I think this tag is really adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. And I like that it gets a little deep, because we don't yeah. get deep that often. <laughs> we really <laughs> well, don't, though. No, we're do. just nonsensical and fun. We're fun. You know, I like that. And I like it, too. Go us. So what the emoji tag is, it was created by Choice of Mon, I think. I think. And you pick five emojis that describe who you are as a yep. person. And so we each picked five emojis. Five and then strange. we're gonna do an emoji that describes us as friendship. Oh, I just made that oh my god, I love that. That was so Thank off the you. cuff. Thanks, I'm super off the cuff. You are off the cuff. <laughs> um, so should we just dive right in? Let's dive right I never in. Said that. We'll we'll um we'll go back and forth. Okay, yeah, sure. Do you cool, want to start? I wonder if we have any of the same. I'm curiosity. Okay, I'm gonna start with my number one emoji. <laughs> Hard eyes. She loves it. And I think this describes me because I feel like this is a very passionate emoji, and I'm very passionate. You are. I love people, I love traveling, I love a lot of things, and so I use the heart eyes emojis a lot because it describes how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Cool, well, my first nice emoji, emoji is also a face one. It's the, it's the, the one that's going, the cringy one. <laughs> because for one reason or another, I always find myself supremely uncomfortable by most people's actions. Yeah. I find that I'm in situations where people say things that make me very uncomfortable, or yeah. they're really cheesy. Mm -hmm. And I always know when it's happening. Yeah, you do, and I always get, Okay, my next emoji is the little thinking bubble. And I picked this because, did you pick that too? Yes. That's okay, we can both be thoughtful. And I picked this because I'm very in my head a lot. I'm always thinking like, what's gonna be our next cover? What's gonna be our next song? Are we ever gonna have a radio hit? Are we blah, blah, blah. I am always in my head, I just think a lot. I feel like I'm very analytical. Then it can be a good thing and a bad thing. And that's why I picked it. Deep. And I picked it because I am also very in my head as well. But I also, on the positive side. I like to think about things and be creative and um, if you read my tweets when I'm on a coffee high you can see that my thought processes are very very strange they are. <laughs> and convoluted. But, but I think um, that's, a, that's a sign of genius. Thank you. My third <laughs> emoji is the alien and I picked this because one I love everything sci-fi and weird. I'm a nerd deep down at heart. I grew up super nerdy playing video games, watching sci-fi movies, I'm into it. And so I just like this because I feel like it really represents who I am because sometimes I feel like I'm lost in this trying to be cool and trying to be like hip and stuff. And then I remember, wait, I'm a nerd deep down at heart and I and like that about okay. myself. I always think nerd translates to passionate. That's true. Like if you're really passionate about something, that's a really good thing. So why would you be yeah. ashamed? Um, my third emoji is the little the little sprout emoji. Um, I usually use this one when I'm like when I have come to a major realization or I have a revelation of some sort. Um, okay. Because I feel like I'm always always sort of growing. Well, I am always growing and learning through different experiences and. Um, and it never stops. It's pretty much a daily thing that I learn something new. So. We're totally getting deep in this episode. We're totally getting deep. I kind of like it. Me too, it's cute. Okay, my next emoji is the cactus. So I picked the cactus because it reminds me of Texas. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Texas is a big part of who I am. I grew up there, lived there for 18 years. And I loved it. And I loved my family and I loved my friends. And I had such good memories there. We ended up on my way home tour in Texas. And our teachers came and my parents came and my sister came and all my friends were there. And I just was like, wow, this is such an amazing feeling seeing all these people and I just get really sentimental when I talk about home and so oh. I had to pick that one. That's a good one. Thank you. I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> my next one, oh my god, is the little, um, the red drop pin. Because we're always traveling and we're pretty much in a different place 
every day. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like I sort of drop my location when I like tell my family and friends, my loved ones, where I am, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so yeah, I'm cool. a traveler. I'm a wanderer. Yeah. You're a wanderer. <laughs> my last one is this little celebratory explosion like the... thing. What is that? like a party popper. So I picked this little party popper thing because I feel like I love to celebrate. I like to enjoy experiences. A lot of exciting things happen in our life and I just love to be happy about it. And mm -hmm. Maybe have a drink or two. <laughs> party with party. friends. I just love memories and creating memories. Um, my last emoji is one I randomly use a lot. It's the little puppy dog with his tongue hanging out. I think it's adorable. It is adorable. <laughs> but, um, you. I, it's so fun. But I also feel like it kind of describes me because I can be very needy <laughs> and um, sort of string along <laughs> um, with whoever is, um, I guess, leading me or whoever I'm obsessed with. You're my little you, puppy. And I am your little puppy. Oh. Yes, sir, you yes, are. Sir. <laughs> but um, yeah, I also feel like I'm very, I don't want to say immature, but sort of in the beginning stages of my life still. And. Um, I still have a lot to learn. This goes along with the little sprout as well. Still suckling on my on my mother's teeth. That's so really sweet. weird. <laughs> wow, that, oh, was, that was fun. Weird. I liked it. We should do a thoughtful and soft. We should. And if I had to describe our friendship in an emoji, oh my god, wait. it would be the two boys holding hands. Yeah. I mean, How do you know? Oh, That's what I was gonna say. We are gay together. We are gay together. <laughs> oh my god. So thank you guys. I want y'all to comment in the comment the section strawberry. below five emojis that describe you and why. And I can't wait to read them. I can't wait to read your stories and your experiences. And who you and who are. you are. And who you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time to make it I have to think about which one I choose. Tortellini. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's really, really weird. So in all these countries we've been in, we get catering at our shows, and we <laughs> and we always get tortellini, and it is so good. I didn't realize my obsession with it. I love it, and I would go back for seconds and thirds because I'm a very hungry. Little you girl. are a hungry girl. My weekly obsession is a book. I don't read them often, but I just read one. It's called The Nearest Exit May Be Behind You by S. Bear Bergman, who is a wonderful writer. I can't commend their writing enough. And it's about gender and dysphoria, transgenderness. It's very, very interesting in how the world views it and, um, and on the flip side as well. I think it really was super enlightening. Oh, I learned a lot awesome. and um, it's proud emoji. And uh, <laughs> you guys, I really recommend it. It's such an amazing read. Everyone, here's a good song today. Please today, 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 today. My song of the week is a mainstream Rihanna song. <laughs> what else is new? It's called American Oxygen, but it is good. She can do no wrong to me. I, I love her music. I love Rihanna. <laughs> yeah, and American Oxygen is so good. I don't even have to describe it. You should just listen to it. It's a cool song. It's fun. Slaney. My song of the week is a song called Gosh by Jamie XX, and it's sort of just a is traditional UK based song, but then at the very end is this amazing uplifting keyboard solo that I literally can, it sounds like sunlight in oh my God. form. It is amazing. amazing. Go check it out, his new album's going out soon as well. Well, thank you guys for tuning in for this deep, emotional yeah. super group. We'll see I you next you. week and we love you so much. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>